Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video, by the request of a subscriber, I'm going to quickly cover how to change the fonts and font colors of your site using the Thesis 2.0 Skin Editor. So first, you need to go to Thesis, and then Skin Editor, and then you'll click on the CSS tab. Now under CSS is where you'll find all of your appearance settings for the font styles, margins, and any other CSS style sheet information for your site. So let's just do a little example. Now if I wanted to change all the fonts over the whole body of my site, first I would go and find the body settings and click on the body package. Now if you click on options, you'll see all of the font settings are located here. And you just click on the arrow to open the font settings. If you want to change from the default font, which I believe is Georgia, then you just select a different font here in this box and it will change all over the entire site. Now by default you can see that the text color is using the variable C1 which comes in the classic skin already set to a particular shade of, of dark gray. So you can either just change this right directly in the text color box to something else or the other way to do that would be to go to the variables and change the color in the C1 variable. So this is the color that it's set to use in the body all over right now. And the reason why you might want to change it right here in the variable itself is because a lot of these other packages that you can see here are also using that particular variable. So if you change it in the variable, then the color will change all over the site instead of ending up a little bit different, you know, and you have to go and hunt down each instance of that color and change it yourself. With the variables, you can just change it one place, which would be right here. Now if you want to only change the fonts and colors in one or two sections and not all over the whole document, you'll need to find the package that element is defined in. For instance, we've got post styles, we've got the site title, uh, there's also the comments intro. So if we look in comments intro, you can see that the text color there is slightly different. It's using the C3 variable and it's just using the default font, but it has a font size defined. And if you were to look at the post styles, that contains most of the information for the posts. For instance, the font, the font size, if there were changes for the headlines of the posts or the subheadlines of the posts, then you could change any of that there. And there's one other place that you need to look just to make sure you get all of your colors and that changed. And that is a lot of these have this additional CSS tab. And not all of them actually have anything in the tab but in the post styles there is a lot of extra information. You can see that they're using variables to define spacing and borders and border colors. And in the headline area it's also defining the C2 as one of the colors, the C2 variable, and this one's using another color. So you know if you're going to change the colors directly and you want them to be a little bit different where they're not using the variable, this is another place that you need to check for the colors. So that's pretty much it of how you change the fonts and colors in your Thesis 2 skin editor. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's helpful to you. Thank you for watching.